Hi. Hi. Welcome to Epcot. Finally. <laughs> we, took a, we took a roundabout way today. Yeah. We decided that we were going to go the route of parking at Magic Kingdom so that we could come here and then go to Magic Kingdom afterwards. And oh goodness, it was like the longest trip over here because the monorail had no AC running and it was like stacked. I thought the, I thought the monorails didn't have AC. I could have sworn you I, told me that I don't once. think they did at one time, but now they, now do. they do. And this one didn't. This one didn't, so. That, that, I mean, here's the thing. Was that a little rough? Yeah, I'll agree. By the end, even I was getting a little like, yeah odd it was it was no good <laughs> but anyway i'm hungry so to the fry basket hopefully yeah, it's, it's open yeah it's actually just time to eat so let's go okay we did it we got both of the fry options and i'm looking forward to trying all of them so yeah you can't just get the fry flight without the yuca fries because no. someone's left out it's not yeah cool. so you gotta get everything also i get that it's a little loud but it's I as do shady. How loud it's gonna be. It's as shady as it's gonna get. And so we get AC from Test Track, which is kind of nice to get like blasted with the cool air. Yeah. So anyway, um, all right, let's get ready to try these. Okay, so you want to start with what do we start with? I'm gonna start with the yuca fries. Okay, we'll start with the yuca fries. I don't. What is yuca? That's oh, a root. These are super crispy. Let's grab them then. I'm <laughs> eating it with a fork because I don't want to like get my hands all over this. All right. Immediately? Yes. 10 out of 10. We'll try again. I mean, it's not like, I feel like this isn't anything particularly special. No, it's probably not going to be. The texture of the fry is nice. And then it's got like sour cream, which is nice. That's really good. I can't complain about that. Next, the fry flight. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta look up which one's which. Hold on, this is a flight. Oh yeah, it has already. We have sweet potato casserole, mm -hmm. barbecue bacon, mm -hmm. and sea salt and malt vinegar. Right. So like regular fries. Let's start there. Just regular, regular fries. Ten out of ten. These are the fries that I want the fish and chip fries to be from the UK. Well, these are way better than They're those, like yeah. soggy, but in a good way. Yeah, nice and They're soggy. They're delicious. The, the vinegar is actually like on point too. It's really good. Okay, barbecue bacon fries. Oh, Russ doesn't like barbecue sauce. No, oh, barbecue sauce. It's unnatural. <laughs> it ain't that bad. You try. Oh, I like that. See, I would give that like a six or a seven out of ten. It's good. We don't really rank food obviously but no but i mean it's a flight you gotta figure out which one you like the most right? i feel like this one has like like the barbecue dust is dusty like it's not like barbecue flavor it's barbecue like dust i would agree with that and i don't know like it makes me want to cough no i don't like that. you know how like if you breathe in when you're eating like i'm trying this one first. okay Finally, we have the sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow cream, and caramel whiskey. Oh, these are awesome. You're gonna like that. Okay, let's try. That's amazing. That's very well done. That's very good. That's like a dessert though. Yes, this is definitely the dessert. And I think we went, I think we went in the right order. Yeah, well, okay. So I think out of the rankings though, like if I was gonna put them in an order, um, I think unfortunately the sweet potato fries are in their own category because they're so sweet. They rank the lowest for me. Because they're so sweet? Mm. 
Because they don't have the pow <laughs> that every other fry has. I don't agree with that. They have a different type of pow. I would say worst is going to be the buffalo for me. I'm just not a fan of buffalo. Barbecue. It's good. Or barbecue. Sorry. Barbecue. barbecue. It's going to go barbecue, then the regulars. No. Sorry. Barbecue, yucca fries, regulars, and I like the sweet potatoes the best because they're Ooh. just that. That Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, but seriously, what was your favorite fly, fry from the fry flight? That's a lot of F words. <laughs> I'm torn. I really, actually, no joke, I really enjoyed the yucca and the original. Because the yucca were good. You wanna know why? And I, you're gonna say it too. The classic. Yeah. They had classic taste. But the yucca wasn't part of the flight. So what's, what flight fry? The, the originals. And there you have it. The, the originals were on point with the vinegar. It was, it was weird because like, it felt like there was enough vinegar, but I almost wanted more, but they were just soggy enough like to too not much, want more. More would have been too much. Yeah. It was just right. Yeah, it just was actually, right. it was on point. It was very good. And um, barbecue, and I keep saying yeah. buffalo, thankfully. I actually but didn't the sweet time. potatoes came in in third, didn't they? Sweet potatoes ended up coming in third. There you yeah. go. After eating a couple of them, uh, they're not that, they're, they're, all, they're great though. Let, let's get they're one They're good, they're, they're all, all good. good. Yeah, yeah, but if I'm gonna but. rank them, the classics are the classics, man. Yeah. They, 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 they were a good french fry. Okay, so now we're gonna head to America, slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna get the crab slider. Let's do it. Because I'm um, 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 um. <laughs> All right, the next stop was the America Pavilion, and we got two things. One is all rust, um, and then the other is all meat. So I'm gonna show you mine first. We have the carrot cake. Looks good. Let's taste it. I will say, this took the longest to get. Like, blown away by how long it took them to prepare this. Um, but it's fine. Is it worth it? Really good. So I got the crab cake slider. Um, I'm just gonna grab it and I'll show you. So pretty decent sized little crab cake slider. Looks good. Good. Let's see what we got. The bun is serious. Yeah. The bun's nice and soft. It's so good. And it's really good. Nice little slider. Be really good on an eggs Benedict though. We're in the American Adventure real quick. Trying to cool off because it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. There's no AC anywhere. Now you know what? She's not wrong. It's very hot out. It's true. I'm not taking my magic finger. You're taking my little GTC. Don't lie to me. Lie to me. We're leaving Epcot now, and Russ is having a little conniption over the sign. I forgot to charge your microphone, and I feel horrible, and I'm sorry to all of you for the horrible audio that you now have to endure for the rest of the evening. It's not horrible. It's just not as good as it could be. Yeah, it could be a lot better. So now we're headed to tomorrow. Hopefully, whatever we get on has air conditioning, unlike the last one. Either way, I think it'll be better than last time because the sun is gone. So, that's something. I like the American Adventure. Yeah, so we did the American Adventure. What did you think? I have not ridden that ride in a very long time. Or the, been to that show. Sorry, it's a show, not a ride. But it is a ride, though. Let's consider I would consider it a ride. It's an attraction. It is an attraction. Um, if you are into the, like... Imagineering and behind the scenes on how attractions work, that is one cool attraction. It's absolutely mind blowing how awesome they did it. And I like that it's like Hall of Presidents Part 2. <laughs> the cooler version? Yeah, said no one ever. <laughs> no, it's, it's very good. It's a great, uh, it's a great attraction. I love it. Uh, I'm glad we actually took a break and went on it. So, uh, now the Mario's here. 
All right, as we usually do, we're making the the walk to the car. Did we pull an audible? We did. So originally our plan was to go to Magic Kingdom tonight, but you know, sometimes you get tired. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. And tonight was one of those nights. The timing too, though. Yeah. The timing's a little off. We would be like walking right into the firework situation. I didn't expect to spend as much time at Epcot as we did today. If I'm being real. No, and we did leave the house a little late, but not Only like 30 that. minutes. And we were, we were at Epcot for a really long time. So, anyway. But yeah, I think today was good. Had fun. Enjoyed ourselves. Had some good food. We had some really good food. But, um... This is us. Now it's, now it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, good food today. Yeah. Would you get any of it again? That carrot cake. The carrot cake was I have to really admit, good. Like, as small as that carrot cake was, because that was the first thing I said, I was a little surprised for its price. Mm -hmm. It was a little small, but that was amazing carrot cake. That it was, was really good. Very good. And it's the thing we waited for the longest. Yeah. Um, uh, the fry basket is a lot of fries. Okay, so here's my thing. I really enjoyed the fry basket, but if I was going to do this all over again, I wouldn't have gotten the fry basket today. Because the plan, or at least in my head, the idea was to like go around and eat multiple things. And the well, fry basket yeah. took up all the space in my belly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right at the beginning. It, yeah, I was very surprised. So. And like, even though I added the yuca fries to it, because I wanted it all together to try all of it together. That made no difference. No. No. At all. And come to find out, we're not even at the car. No, we're not. No. Russ thinks that's our car, but. It's not our that car. That car is blue. <laughs> our car. Our car is not blue. Anyways. But anyway. Um, that's why we're going home. So this was, this was a short one, but we hope that it you had fun. It was not a short fun. one. Yes, I think it was. I think it was a little bit shorter than our normal videos. I feel like we were out a lot later than we Yeah, but we are. didn't chat as much. Well, and this is the topic of discussion too. What is... It's tough It can to be, be a hard. Bug. It can be a little bit hard with the... Um, Epcot is The packed. number of people. But you know what? Let's get to the car. Yeah. And then we'll chat a little bit yeah, about it. Yeah, you can it. chat about it. Okay. Okay, so the thing is, Epcot was absolutely packed tonight. And that's to be expected. I feel like it's a Friday night and it's a festival weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it's still early in the festival, so I think people are really excited about it. For me, to sum up this whole night, things mm -hmm. really went sour right from the beginning. Because we got on the monorail and there was no air conditioning on the monorail that, and it was so hot it was so hot in there that i can't even tell you so and then as we were kind of going i was like well i'll just pop into a few shops and it'll be fine but the shops weren't cool either it sets the bar unfortunately yeah and it took, and it took a lot out of you it did it did there's no way around that <clears throat> um so i mean i had some ice water and like i recovered after we went on um the american adventure we have three bottles we keep like normally two bottles we had three bottles of water with us actually we had four yeah and we burned through almost all yeah. of them and refilled them twice mm -hmm. like it was hot so it was it was hot but you know it, when it's hot and crowded like there's really no place to sit down and where there is it's like usually in the sun and it like it just becomes like a compounding you couldn't even Problem. vlog. No. And that's kind of the, the thing. is like, could, but... I feel like you can tell how crowded it is if I can't, like, set you guys up, like, right here, which isn't even, like, a full arm's length out, um, <clears throat> without hitting somebody. And People well, were not yeah. aware of their surroundings. No. Well. So it, um, it, so it made it hard. And I know that that means that maybe you didn't see as much of tonight as you would have seen, or at least as you have seen in the past few days. But... Sometimes that just happens. Yeah, and I think, you know, you and I both, I have not been to the parks in quite some time. So, like, I'm even a little rusty navigating people as well as working with you. Yeah, and that's, so that's, and my, that's kind of my true. Bad. Like, that's true, but... Been busy. 
the reality of the situation is that it was hard to navigate just in general yeah. today. Um, I need to say this though. Okay. The Regal Eagle Smokehouse smells oh, so, so amazing. Good. And it has to be like, I'm going to say like food and wine and all that stuff. I don't, I don't care about food and wine anymore. I need to go to the Regal Eagle Smokehouse. <laughs> like, no french fries, no impossible meatballs. I want some Regal Eagle barbecue. Regal Eagle barbecue. I still haven't been. And I normally, like, I don't go because I know I can't eat that much. Yeah, I so, need to go with you and help you out. Yeah. So we'll just split some of them. And like I said, today, the fries, man, they were so big. Like, it was such a big yeah. serving. We, we just talked about this. When it came to, like, portionings and stuff, like, you know, we, we talked about how, like, the plan was one thing and then things got screwed up because of the fry basket and stuff like that because it was so much food. But here's the thing. The fry basket... I wish I had a receipt on me right now. I want to know how much it is right now. But anyways, maybe if I don't have it right, we'll, we'll correct it. But I want to say it was like eight bucks. Okay, so if the fry basket was like eight bucks, or even like ten dollars. It wasn't. Fine. The taco yaki was only three taco yaki. Like three balls. Yeah, three fried dough balls, and that's it. But like the fry basket was like three stacked sets yeah, of fries. Yeah, same price. For the same price, and like you talk about like portioning, and like portioning is usually smaller when it comes to the festival and stuff. So, well, like, so okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna push back on that real quick though, that's fine. because a lot of people say that portioning is smaller at the festivals, and sometimes, but some portions are really substantial. So it really just depends on the dish, and mm -hmm. so it's really important if you're gonna be coming here and you're gonna be paying attention to money. Yep. Um, because I know that there are a lot of people who do. If you want to enjoy different dishes and you really want to sh make them stretch, pay attention to different people who post the food reviews on all over social media of the foods at the food and wine. Um, we do some of it, but we can only eat so much so fast, you know? So, um, you know, watch around, see what other people have to say and yeah. see, see what the portions look like. Because I know it can be hard to judge sometimes, but... Um, sometimes things are really small, but they're heavy, mm -hmm. you know? And then other times things you're like, oh, well, it's some French fries. It doesn't look like much, but then you get it and you're like, this is like three potatoes worth of French fries. Yeah. How am I supposed to eat anything other than this? You mm -hmm. know, um, if it was just me, I would have never been able to finish those fries. No. Like never. No way. Um, even and even the, the both of us kind of like. By the end, Just I barely was polished them off, yeah, you know? Yeah, because we didn't eat again until the American Pavilion all the way on the other side, and, and even then. And we didn't have to. I think we could have gotten away with not eating. Yeah. At least I could have. Yeah. I had some carrot cake because obviously I wanted to try it, but... Um, I yeah, at least so, wanted one of the booth tonight. But yeah, <laughs> and that's the thing though, is it's the more people you have, the more people you can share with, I feel like the more things you can taste. But mm -hmm. the idea of being able to like just come here and just eat everything, if you're going to try, if, if you don't want to waste food and you want to polish off everything you're eating, that's, the, I mean, you have to have one hell of an appetite. Yeah. So, but um, we just didn't play it right today. That's okay. We started off strong right out the gate with those fries and... Next time we don't get the fries. Next time we don't take the monorail with a broken AC. No. So many things. we It just didn't go right today. But that's okay. We still had fun. I'll tell you right now, for anyone who was on their vacation having to deal with that, I'm sorry. We're going to be talking about this. That's rough. We're going to be talking about this a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to sit down. Maybe we'll grab a coffee and we'll chat about this. But... You know, all these fights happen, all these things happen, and I don't want to excuse that. But I've, I've said this before. I don't want to excuse that stuff. But Disney, you have to recognize. Again, the people who know how far to place trash cans so that people don't throw their trash on the ground. you got to know the psychology of just how much this, like, failure after failure after failure impacts your guests. You know? Well, I actually have a question. Sure. So, earlier today, I heard a lady, she was quite irate mm -hmm. with the fact that she couldn't get um, a cup of ice from a booth. Okay. 
Can you request ice water from the booths? I don't think you can. Not from the booths, to my knowledge, yeah. no. Okay, so To like, my knowledge, you have to go to a counter, actual cr service, counter service That's what restaurant. I thought. Because like in my brain, she was irate the fact that she couldn't get a cup of ice. And I'm talking like swearing very loudly. I know, I heard her. Um, But in the same breath, I was like, well then why not just ask for ice water and just drink the water real quick and then you have a cup of ice but i think that would have happened if that was capable and so she was just mad in general that she couldn't get ice that she couldn't get anything like well i think it's because of the booth situation but here's i have so many feelings on this because i think there are two things that are happening hmm. number one i think that there's a lot of confusion and a lack of communication Okay, we've talked about this before, a lack of communication and clarity. So you can go to any counter service. My understanding is that you can just walk into the counter service and ask, even though you haven't ordered any food. But there might be some pushback on that because there are often cast members standing at the doors asking if you're going to pick up mobile order, for yeah. example. So I don't know if every cast member is going to let you through. Now, should they? Yes. But I also know that regardless what the rule is... Mm -hmm cast member to cast member very different experiences yeah. so um, that's part of the problem and that may have been part of what caused this you know mm -hmm. but yeah. then there's the matter of like you know maybe you want to go to Starbucks at Epcot for example near the fry basket which is where this happened um, they have a Starbucks but the line is like crazy yeah, you you know, and if we're being real, I know there are a lot of people out there who will say like, well, there's water bottle fill stations everywhere. No, there aren't. No, there's no, not there aren't. And not every counter service has a separate location for an ice water fill like jug. Mm, some of, some them, of them do, but not all of them. So no. you are either standing in the line or maybe that's not where you stand in line. You just walk up to the counter and be like, look, I'm not trying to order food, but I need, I need a cup of water. Yeah. So I think so that I there's know. just it's some confusion. And some lack of clarity. Oh, I'm confused too. But I think the confusion, lack of clarity leads to stress. And as yeah. I've said multiple times, it's not just one thing. It's a number of things. I mm -hmm. mean, just in the past, I've been to Magic Kingdom two days in a row now. Yeah. And on each of those trips, there have been multiple attractions down. The last time I was at Magic Kingdom, there were five attractions down in one day. Five. That's too many. Now, I understand things happen, mm -hmm. but... Imagine there's no AC on the monorail, then five attractions are down. Then you can't do this, so you can't do that. Like, these things add up, and that's where some of the stress comes from, and it's already a very stressful time. Anyway, I could go on about this, but... Sorry, I just had a quick question. Yeah, but I mean, I think I answered it. Oh, you did, and it's, I think it was worth it asking that question. Yeah, but that's all for now, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. Right from here. Right there. Right. Um... Thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope you had fun, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye.